Hello guys, welcome back to Pwn TV. This is a program I've been working on for a class and basically what it is is it races five horses across the screen and declares a winner. Um, just a typical like race program and each of the horses are actually a thread. This is a multi-threaded application so when I run race it spawns five threads and each of the threads run the race and then at the end the one that wins declares itself the winner prints that it, uh, that specific horse won, and tells me how to actually play the game again. I can click the reset race button, and then the run race, and then go ahead and play again. And of course, a different horse of a different color wins the next race, and we can keep going all the time. And then of course, when we're done, we can quit. And that's it. And so that's my race horse. And the code for that is pretty simple stuff, actually. So what we have is some imports. One second. All right, so what we have is some imports. And then I'll just actually move this down a little bit. And then our class horse race, some progress bars that we paint to the screen eventually. We declare them up there. A label for what, which horse wins. A finish method, which is synchronized, very important to synchronize your threads. And then some more code. I'll actually move this over here because it's nothing more tilting than not being able to see the semicolon at the end. Some more code. So a main method here with the event queue IDE invoke later method being called with the new runnable passing in a void run method inside as a parameter. Horse race constructor calls initialize function. This method right here isn't it's just a method that creates the the frame. It's a JFrame object and adds all of the things to it. Right? So we got some objects that we're adding to the frame. And then when we're done, a little code there that I was gonna add for images for images of horses that I was gonna actually implement that I didn't actually have time to implement. Then a couple more things. We add a run race button, a reset race button, a quit program button, and then of course we code each of those in inner classes, the run race class being coded right here. If the button has already not been pressed, then I run the code. If it has been pressed, then I don't run the code, right? But if it hasn't been pressed, then I say that it's been pressed and the, uh, the, the reset race has been unpressed. And then we run and do the spawning of all the threads. And then in the reset race, it's basically the same thing, but in reverse, if the reset race button hasn't been pressed yet, then we run the code block. So we do some stuff, right? And then we reset the threads. And then there's a quit program class, system exit being the only command. And then the other inner classes are basically all copies of each other. I could probably do this easier. Um, basically could possibly make all five thread classes into one class, but I didn't code it that way. I, I coded it the hard way, I guess. So we have an inner class H1 extending thread, and then we have a void reset method. Um, we've got, and, and that basically just resets the, uh, the, the, the progress bars back to zero and repaints to the screen. And then we have a run method here, which basically says, you know what, I'm gonna call the finish method if of course i is equal to 100, which means that we've ran the entire race. I'm gonna call the finish method, I'm gonna pass it that variable that we're at with the 100 mark, and we're gonna say that the winning horse has been flagged as one. So in this case, this class, the first horse gets there, he's the winning horse. The second horse would be getting there, he'll be the winning horse in this case on this class, right? And then of course, we have a try-catch block to actually stall the threads with the sleep, and we do a really cheeky little equation here, which is basically just using a math IDE library that's built in and passing it a, a parameter that is a random a randomizer. So basically this UUID just gets a random UUID object, and it also calls the inner, uh, inner method here, which is get most significant bits. And that just gets like a string of, of digits, which is probably about the length of a long. So we're looking at like 12 or 13 digits. And they're random digits mostly. And then we mod it by 60 to get a number between 1 and 60 or 0 and 59, whatever. And so that's the number that we sleep for each time we do this. So it's always random. Really cool to actually have a nice randomizer that's always going to be very smooth when it, when it plays through. Um, the randomizer is just always going to have different digits in it. So yeah, that's it for the program. All of these classes are copies of each other, H1 through uh, all the way down to H5, and they're just copies of each other, making the specific horse the winner and calling the finish method, which again is just going to uh, 
set the game back up to actually know wh which horse won, print that to the screen, and then actually get ready to play another game. The finish method, I'll actually do a find for it. All right, finish method, I'll just show you the actual method really quick, is right here, void finish, I, uh, you pass it in the 100, typically that's the only variable, that only integer is going to be passed in as, an, as a 100, you don't really need that, but I have it in this case, yeah, and it's synchronized, so that means that only one thread can actually get into this code block at a time, and then when it's done with the code block, it frees it up, and then another thread can get in, so that way we always know which horse won and pause the game before any other threads can look in there. So it's very important to have the synchronized keyword and have some sort of method that actually has a code block that only one thread at a time can access. That's the key to actually ending the race. And that was the big scope of this project. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.